Welcome to our newest edition of Lines Report. It's sure to be more exciting than The Force Awakens as we have tons of action for you from all our sports. And that's coming up right about now. And we take over the Pretty Man Gymnasium where Harvest Man Boys Basketball took on York Prep in the finals of the Peg Duggan Tournament. Here we go into the first quarter. Max Westergaard scores his first two points of the game. He would have a great game. He finished with 18 points as he went 8 of 10 from the floor and showed his presence down low. York Prep with a three right there. They're hanging in this game. We got a close game in the second quarter. Harvest Man back on offense. The ball movement. Over to Eric Stein on the left side to Max Westergaard, and he makes the floater. What a shot by Westergaard right there. He really was dominant all day long. Now Alec Ginsberg on the wing. Pass inside. Max Westergaard again. What a game for him. What a game for the Lions. Now back again on offense. Alec Ginsberg over to Eric Stein. Back to Alec the three. It's good. Alec Ginsberg right there showing his shooting skills. Now back on the wing, Noah Skolnick. Over to Alec Ginsburg, another three by Alec. And now Harvestman back on offense. And they make the inside layup. Now Noah Skolnick back over on the wing to Alec. Back to Eric, back to Noah. And the three again. Great ball movement, setting up a pretty basket by the Lions. Lions on defense right here. York Prep would hang in with another three right here. However, Harvestman would take control as they go on to win 50 to 39 and win the peg. Duggan Tournament and continue their great season. Hello and welcome to Horseman Swimming. Horseman is taking on Fieldston here. It's a wonderful Wednesday. Horseman is swimming in lanes one and three. Now they're starting off with a backstroke. Sea line is making his way out in front and a beautiful flip turn. Swim, 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 Michael Phelps, Michael Phelps, here we go. And an IM is starting right here. Once again, swimmers in lanes one and three. They're going down with the breaststroke and coming back butterfly. We have Jasmine in lane three. Beautiful form. Oh, look at that speed as she finishes that leg in the lead. And here we have the sea lion in lane three with a steady lead. Oh, what a tremendous flip turn. And a great push off still in first place. And we are getting ready for the push off from our back stroke swimmers. Once again in first place going down and HM goes on to beat Fieldston. And we take you to the newly refurbished upper gymnasium to see the girls varsity basketball team take on Hackley. And we see right off the bat Jordan Nixon with the runner down the lane for the two easy two points. And the Lions kept the pace going strong as Jayla hit a deep jumper to set the score up. And we can see JoJo Levy with the moves taken to the hole and banging it in for another two points. Of course, Hackley was in this game throughout. As you can see, they get their transition buckets here. And once again, their point guard was really pushing the pace and getting them the buckets down the lane. And we can see Jordan using her floor general skills as she takes it. A little crossover shimmy and the two-point jump shot. And it's silky smooth as she finds the bottom of the net. Again, we see, see more Nixon controlling the floor as she's going to send the long pass over to the corner with Skylar Rosen who's going to go on to find her teammate Jojo who's going to do some work on the inside and finish with the two-point lay-in. We see more from Nixon as the third quarter comes to the close as she's going to put in two to raise the Lions lead. However, no lead is too large as we see Hackley stayed in for the fourth quarter and we can see the Lions in transition. A little sloppy but but as any good team would, they make up for the mistakes. And even though we see two near turnovers on here, the Lions are still able to get a bucket and pull it close. One point game now, and the Lions have the ball down one. And we see Nixon's going to get the inbound pass. She's going to get it in, and she's going to do what she does best, attack the defense as we see she's able to get it into the lane, lay it off to JoJo, who's going to put it in for two, and the win. The Lions take it 51-50. Here we take you to the lower school gymnasium where the Horace Mann fencing team will take on Knox School. Horace Mann coming in on the day 2-0 with their most recent defeat against Rag Country Day. And here we see a beautiful Kool-Aid followed by a corpse to corpse to take the round with a nice lunge step. Horace Mann with great footwork here with a jab and a lunge to take the round. Horace Mann continues to dominate the match with a great display of Velestra. And there goes Horace Mann and there's about to have a parry right here and about to go for the lunge, going for the kill. And let's see, oh, there, there, no, oh, but it's a miss, it's a miss. And then Horace Mann with the point. 
Horace Man showing off a nice jab, Moline to a Sepa Nation and then Posado Sado. Horace Man lost Epe 2 to 7, but they won Foil 9 to 0, and they won Sabre 5 to 4 to win the match. Woo! We do boys and girls, varsity track, Ivy Development Meet number 2. Teddy, what did we see today? Horseman's running great. You see him on the outside ring, running around the circle, and they really would do this well. They're piecing themselves well. They're really saving up stamina for late in the race, right, Johnny? Yeah, you know, around the grapevine, there'll be some real rumblings about this team. We've heard great things, and we can see from this meet together, the long distance people got it, the sprinters got it, and it all together came to a great event. Thanks for watching. See you next time.